Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be putting, putting this hot air balloon inside this jar. So first I turned down the opacity so that I could see the hot air balloon above the jar. Just lining it up the way I think looks pretty cool. Because uh, my first take, the hot air balloon was pretty small. So I just increased the size of this one for this specific video for YouTube. And now I'm using the selection, the wand, I think it's, yeah, on the selection tool or wand, something like that. I'm just selecting everything. And then as you saw, I clicked on that select and mask. I never knew that was a feature. Um, because before when I used to use that, uh, the wand to select objects, the edges of the object would be so, um, sharp, like you could see the pixels very clearly. So that select and mask feature allows us to feather, feather the selection so that it doesn't look like it's out of place. It fades out the pixels a little bit on the edges of the image. Okay, now I'm just using the brush and and I've selected the mask layer. If you see the la layers, I've selected the, the black and white, which is the mask layer. And now I'm just basically painting in black, which hides the image. If you paint in white, it shows the image. Sorry if there's any uh, outside noise. I'm using my phone to record this. So I'm just doing a little bit here, just raising just a little bit. It doesn't need to be too detailed because as you can see, it's very tiny. The hot tape balloon place where the people are sitting is very tiny. So you can't see the imperfections. And then now I've added a layer because we're going to, to paint in the reflection of the jar. The reason why you do that is right now the hot air balloon looks like it's on top of the jar. And if you look at the jar, it has these reflections in it or on it. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're replicating those reflections to make it look like the hot air balloon is inside the jar. It's like, it's like when you're drawing a, re a realistic eye, if you look at artists that can draw eyes very well, you can see that they put a reflection in the eye. It looks like a little square, a little warped square where, where it's a reflection of what the person is seeing, which makes it look more realistic. So that's what we're doing here. We're just painting in the the... Well, what, I, what I did is that I take a sample color of the reflections on, of the jar and then I just paint it in. Just paint it in on top of the, the hot air balloon. And if you look at the layer that I was painting on, before I select the camera raw photo, if you look at the layer that I was painting on, it actually has, it's actually connected to the bottom layer so that when I paint on the hot air balloon, it doesn't go outside of it. And how you do that is when you hover, you hover over the, the space between the two layers and then you hold down alt or I think it's options on the options on the, on the, on the MacBook. Cause I'm using a MacBook right now, but my keyboard is, is, uh, is a windows keyboard. So yeah, I think you hold down alt and up op or options and then a little arrow will pop up and then you click it and then it. It, it joins that layer to to the bottom layer. So now I'm on the camera roll, camera roll filter. Now here I'm just playing around. I like this distortion, how it makes the glass, the jar pop out more. I just love this perspective better than it was before. Now I'm just playing around here with whatever I think looks cool. Because since this is art, you have artistic freedom to do whatever you want.
<laughs> so there's a reason why why it's like I keep on moving the things up and down. Because if, if you take them to both extremes, you can see exactly what the, the effect does. And I really like the clarity. I really like the way it looked, but I toned it down a bit. I don't know, it's just... You know, it's just it's just nitpicking. Just nitpicking. But I still kept the clarity up a bit high. Not a bit high, meaning like I wanted it to come down, but I've just kept it high. Which gives me that effect that I want just a bit less than before. And that's it. Just waiting for it to load, and then that is it. So I'm just toggling through before, after. And yeah, that's it. And this is the final image. Um, as you can see with the final image, what I've done is that I, I added noise to it so that um, the hot air balloon matches the 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 noise of the of the image of the jar. Sorry for that bump. But y'all, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.